Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I am your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today we'll be reacting to My Hero Academia Season 5, Episode 7. And in the last episode, Class 1A has received their first L of the entire competition. Now it is only round two, but so far the score is tied. In the second round, we had Momo, Tokoyami, Hakagure, and Aoyama going against Class 1B's Kendo Kudo Ido, I think the mushroom girl's name was Noko or something like that. And then there was the manga guy. I don't remember his name, but they clashed and man, did 1B impress me in this round. It was absolutely insane because in class 1A, we have some pretty good people on our team. If we were to rank all of the class 1A students, I think that Tokoyami and Momo would definitely be in the like higher rank if we were to go by like how useful their quirks are. I think they would definitely be up there. Now when it comes to Hakagure and Aoyama, I think they're unfortunately like maybe mid to low range. So I think the most crucial members here were definitely Momo and Tokoyami and those two definitely put in a lot of work, but it was not enough to stop Kendo and her team because the organization that they had, the communication and the strategy that Kendo brought to their team was so useful. We had Kudo Ido, who was like the distraction that ended up luring team 1a into a trap which was set up by noko and then we also had the manga guy to divide class 1a and completely sever their communication and then kendo was the like lead strategist that made a lot of these plans and also she went after the brains of class 1a momo targeted her specifically managed to take her out and managed to take the w in round two if you guys are excited for the episode make sure to leave a like it'll help me and the video out so much more than you might think so if you could take the time to do that real quick i would very much appreciate it and also consider subscribing to the channel for more weekly my hero reactions but with that all out of the way let's get right into this episode all right, so real quick, before we get into the video, I wanted to give you guys two ways that you can kind of enhance your viewing experience of this reaction, because as we all know, copyright is not fun to deal with on YouTube, so I did need to censor some parts of the video. However, I did try to edit it in a way so that you guys can visually see exactly where I am and follow along through the video alone, but I do also have two alternative ways in case the video itself isn't really your style. So the first way that I have is, of course, following along through the picture-in-picture -picture method so if you are on PC or if you are on mobile all that you have to do is look for a picture-in-picture -picture app or a picture-in-picture -picture browser extension this is the one that I use right here and literally all that I have to do is go to the anime episode click a button and then I get a little screen of the anime that I can put in front of my reaction in this little corner right here it should look something like this it's super easy super quick but the second way that you guys can enjoy this is of course through the uncut picture and picture reactions if you'd like to check those out all that you have to do is head on over to the cloud crowd discord and then dm me just saying something like yo crow where can i get these picture and pictures and i will tell you exactly where you can find them completely for free so you don't have to worry about that just make sure to leave a comment telling me your thoughts at the end of the video and with that all out of the way, let's get right into the reaction. Alright, so whenever you guys are ready, make sure to grab your source videos, pull them up, and then get ready to sync them with me, because we'll be starting episode 7 of season 5 in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright. We got class 1B. They came here to perform. And I think, oh snap, I think we saw in the like ending preview of last episode that this round we're going to be seeing Tetsu Tetsu in action, dude. Let's go. I want to see how much he's improved because his quirk is honestly like pretty simple compared to Kirishima, who's like his arch rival. Kirishima, he can harden his body. We saw that he can also like sharpen his body, which was really cool. But I think Tetsu Tetsu can only, or he could only, like, make his body as tough as iron. So now, we're gonna see if he was able to improve on that at all. Maybe learn a few new tricks. 
that'll come into play here. But like I said in the beginning, man, the thing that I love most about this tournament is the fact that we're starting to get a lot of, in my opinion, slept on characters and get some time to shine. So this is really cool. Now, unfortunately, like when it comes to Aoyama and Hakagure, we only saw very little from them. Now, Hakagure, don't get me wrong, she was handling the manga guy. If it wasn't for Kendo, she would have messed him up bad. But outside of that, the only real ability we saw her use was the like light refraction. refraction. But outside of that, like not really anything super impressive. And when it comes to Aoyama, we didn't really get anything new. It was just him firing a bunch of lasers to light up the area and stop Kuro Iro. But, man, we saw, like, Kirishima get a massive, like, glow-up arc in Season 4. And I want to see these characters get that kind of love. Because they deserve it, dude. They're all cool. And I think, I think even... Probably who's one of the most slept on characters, Seto. I think even Seto could become a monster once he learns how to master his quirk. And he, like, learns new ways to use his quirk. I think he could be insane. He's basically Spider-Man. <laughs> I have no need for your pity. Dang, she pretty much said, like, hey, no hard feelings. I had to do what I had to do. The damage was bad this time. Dang. Oh, that's from the wall, isn't it? That manga wall. Another two hours. Dang, so we have to... Okay, okay. That's good. I was gonna say, is the next team gonna have to fight with those mushrooms still in the area? But, I'm not mad. Class 1B, they were doing what they had to do. And this guy. Just giving him more fuel for his ego. There we go, Kendo. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody to shut him up. <laughs> See, who knows how much trash he was talking while she was out there on the field. We need Kendo. Man, that's cool. Even their classmates are impressed. <laughs> oh man. Yo, all my, what's good? Oh no. Uh oh, I almost said Mineta. Mina knows. Dang. <laughs> She's just having a blast up there. I was gonna say, is anyone gonna stop her? But I guess she's having fun. The fifth match will have Shinso. Hmm. Hmm. I forgot. Bakugo got a brand new fit. Look at the drip, man. Peep the drip. Bakugo. 
He's looking real clean right now. Here we go, Deku. Take your time, man. There's no need to rush. You got a powerful quirk. Gotta learn how to use it right. Yeah. Well, the thing is, though, the only reason why Shinso triggered it was because Midoriya was... Rendered completely useless, right? Like he couldn't even control his own body. So I feel like the vestiges had to jump in and help him out. But I don't think it's like Shinso himself that triggered it. I think it's just his quirk. Because it's so powerful. And plus, like, Deku knows what to expect. Oh, snap! My boy Ida! I forgot about that. Ida and Todoroki, Ojiro, and Shoji. This is gonna be a spicy match here. I'm hoping we get to see great things from Ida. I feel like it's been a while. It's all good, man. You did your best. Oh, snap. That's true. And Ida. Yeah. God, I love Endeavor, man. What an absolute badass. Like, he flew that man up into the sky and just let it all out. Everything he was holding inside. Toyo is close. Dang, that was his downside. You got this, Todoroki. But also, do not sleep on 1B. They've been improving as well. Oh man, that's good to hear. Dang, he's passing the mantle over to Ida. Let's go. Thing. That is one thing. Hold on. That's one thing about Ida that just kind of it's it's just a bit off putting to me because I think it's cool to like carry on the mantle of your brother. That was a pretty popular hero before. But Ida's also his own person. I think he should have his own hero name, but maybe he could have like, made it a little spin-off of his brother's name in his honor. 
But I don't know, carrying the exact same name just seems a bit weird. And didn't they just say to keep the collateral down to a minimum? And this dude is just... What the heck? What is he beating on the wall for? Yeah, I, mean, I bet Tetsu Tetsu's his favorite student. <laughs> I'm sure they have a lot of talks after class. Look at this man! Like <laughs> He's trying to get a straightforward path to them. Real Steel, that's such a badass name. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. I like to see how fired up he is about this, though. Hey, man. He knows him too well. Wait, she's speaking English. Oh, snap! They both are. <laughs> Alright, looks like we have, uh, quite an interesting team we're going up against here. I wonder what they do. Cause I mean, I don't know, I said this in the earlier videos, but I am a manga reader, but it's been so long since we've seen this arc. So I'm really interested in, I guess, um, refreshing my memory on what the heck these guys are capable of. Alright. Ojido, make us proud. Oh, snap! Okay, wait, that quirk is kind of sick. <laughs> what the heck? It's basically like he's roller skating with extra steps. Oh, or so he thought. <laughs> What's up? Number one's here. He immediately U turned. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, that's messed up. Not the kids. Oh, and he didn't even give him the chance. Oh, wait, is that Cementos' son or something? He looks just like him. And look at that. Sheer strength alone is holding that man back. Ooh. Yeah, you better stop quick. You might lose those arms. Dang, you could already you could already see the skin charring and everything, dude. Endeavor's not playing. Let's go. That's the number one hero right there. Don't you forget it. Oh man, and now that he has that scar on his face, he really resembles Todoroki now. Mm-hmm. Thanks to his daughter. <laughs> Don't ignore my messages. <laughs> It's so cool. I love how they both remembered back to that specific moment. <laughs> and they hear it. His Shoto sickness, is that what they call it? Oh man, okay. <laughs> Alright there. Let's go, it looks like we already started. I'm sure you could hear Tetsu Tetsu from a mile away, though. Like I said, dude. It's like a freaking jackhammer.
Dang, and Todoroki's not playing at all. He just froze Tetsu Tetsu's step. Don't tell me he's going down like that. You know what? I trust him. I believe he's strong enough to break through this. There's no way he's going to take him out that easily. But I do know that metal doesn't do too nice in cold areas. Or doesn't do too well in cold areas. All right, Ingenium. Oh, snap. One of their quirks is triggered. Dang. Softening. Oh, snap. That's huge. Mudman. That's actually a really powerful quirk. If you think about it, that's so strong. Wow. I wonder if he can, like, soften people. Like, could he just touch someone and turn them to a... Like a... A pile of flesh and bones? Yep, do not sleep. Alright, let's see. Ooh, okay, okay. So this guy can, like, spin his limbs? Gyrate. That's cool. That's sick, dude. There's so much you could do with that quirk, too. And look, Ida can't even run, man. But I feel like the problem here is the fact that I'm sure his softening only works on solids. And we know Todoroki, he's got fire. So if he whips that out. They might struggle. Mm-hmm. Dang. But Ojiro, he's holding his own. He's doing pretty good. Oh, snap. And here's her quirk. <laughs> Wait, is she actually a foreigner? Like, she's not native to Japan? She has, like, kind of a, like, broken Japanese when she talks. Dang. Come on, Shoji, you can't go down like that. Oh, and she's using it for support, too! Oh, man. Dude, so far it's looking like 1A is struggling, man. Look at that, and he just slams Todoroki. Mm hmm. Man. So does she just have an unlimited supply of those? Holy crap, I just realized this man, Mudman is a threat, dude. His quirk is insane. Ooh! Let's go, Ida. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Let him know. And look at that. Recipro Turbo. Just charging through the ice. Holy crap. He's like the Titanic right now. Well, I guess not exactly.
Oh, snap. Wow. So he's been grinding. Oh, jeez. Jeez. That's brutal. Dang, so he's like Rock Lee. Yeah, it's a... Uh... Well, no, not exactly, not exactly. Ten minutes on the clock. Dang, man, and again, I kind of like this pattern that they're going with here. How, like, every single round is two episodes long, I think that's really cool. That's like an hour of content for each. Man, Ida, I'm so glad to see that he's improving. And what a cool, like, way of training his quirk. So he has, like, the mufflers on his legs. And when he takes the mufflers off, then... Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me see if I understood this correctly. So, if he takes the mufflers off and trains without them, then... When he puts them back on, is he stronger? So, or, I don't know. They said something about, like, him growing new ones? Or, like, them growing stronger? I'm not exactly sure. I need to go back and check real quick. Um, I'll probably do that at the end of this, um, little ending video before we get into the discussion. But, that's really cool. It's kind of like how you put ankle weights on your legs. In order to, like, of course it makes it harder to walk around and especially run around, but once you take them off, you're gonna be a lot faster. Not a lot faster, but, you know, you're like training your legs so they're gonna be stronger. And you should be noticeably faster, at least. Alright, preview. Wow, that was quick. Cipro Turbo. And Todoroki's left side, he still hasn't brought it out yet. Dang. Let's go, dude. I don't know who's gonna win. I don't remember, but I'm hyped to find out. Because <laughs> it seems like everyone came here with their A game. Alright, so, I'm gonna check a couple things in the video real quick, and then I'll be right back for the end discussion. So I'll see you guys right over there. Alright, so I went back and I looked at it, and it seems like I was pretty much, like, on the right track. So basically, with the mufflers on the back of his leg, if he, like, rips them out and then trains without them, then new, stronger mufflers will grow in. That's what they said would happen. So that's really cool. It's kind of like, um, I don't know if that's a myth or not, but when people say, like, if you have facial hair and you shave it, it'll grow back thicker than the first time. So, or it'll grow back faster, something like that. But anyways, I think that's really cool. I think that's really dope. So, I wonder if there's a limit to, like, how much he could do that. Or, like, maybe after, say, like, three, four times of doing it, that's kind of the cap. That's, like, as strong as his mufflers will become. But that's a really cool way of kind of fine-tuning your quirk. And I'm really interested in seeing or finding out, like, how the first person in Ida's family figured that out. Like, were they, I don't know, in a fight or something, and their mufflers broke, and then they had to take them out, but they, you know, wanted to continue as a hero, so they kept training, and then stronger ones grew in? I don't know, I think that's, like, some interesting lore. It's interesting nonetheless. So, my question of the day for you guys is going to be, who do you think has the coolest quirk so far in Class 1B out of this current round? So we have the girl with the horns. Apparently she can like detach her horns and control them even though they're not connected to her body, which is really cool. And she has like a, a resupply of them. I'm sure it does a little bit of a toll on her body every time she like regrows them, but that's a really cool quirk. And then we have the guy who can gyrate any, like, any one of his limbs, which I think is sick. He can gyrate his hands, his arms, legs, that's dope. The Mudman, Mudman has a really cool quirk, how if he's touching any solid, he could 
I guess, soften that solid. And he can also re-harden it, which is really cool. And then we have Tetsu Tetsu, who is pretty much just as tough and as durable as metal. I don't remember exactly if he does have any sort of like improvement that he's made on his quirk. I don't remember. So I guess we'll have to find out next episode. But out of those guys, I think the person that I am most interested in when it comes to their quirks is Mudman because I think there's so much you can do with a quirk like that. Like if you want to just like restrain people and like say they're trying to run away, all you have to do is soften the ground, they'll sink into the ground and then re-harden it and their legs are pretty much trapped in concrete. Or if we're getting to like, you know, end game, end game, like, you know, life or death situations, maybe he could even touch people and soften their bodies. So like, say someone's about to touch or punch him, and as soon as they touch him, like their hand softens so that it cushions the blow or something. Or like even worse, he touches them, softens their like muscles and their skin and everything, and they just become a puddle of flesh. Like, I think there's so much you could do with that quirk. I think Mudman's insane. And from his name, you wouldn't think he's like that crazy powerful. But if you think about it, I think he's really strong. But let me know which one of the quirks from Team 1B impressed you this episode. But with that, thank you all so much for watching this far into the video. I had a blast watching through this. I hope you guys did as well. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on the episode down below, and subscribe for more Slice Shonen content. And with that, I'm going to head out, so I'll catch you all in the next one. Have a good one.